An old model steam engine, which was made circa 1896, part 5. Machining a gunmetal flywheel for the engine. This was sent to me by one of my customers and it is perfect for the job. Gunmetal flywheels are quite soft and require a delicate touch. I used my Myford ML7R lathe for this job and once it was finished it really looked the part for the old 1896 steam engine. Most mornings I edit the videos but I couldn't edit the video yesterday because I was at the doctor's having a flu vaccination. What I'm doing here using a micrometer is trying to find out what the size of the crankshaft is because it seems to be of no value I know about. I assumed that it would be 7 30 seconds of an inch but it isn't, it's a bit bigger. I googled the imperial measurement and converted it to metric but it doesn't appear to be any sort of metric I know about either. This is the procedure I'm going to use to turn this flywheel. There are other ways to do it but I'm doing it this way. First of all I mounted the flywheel in the chuck holding it by the small spigot. Then I reversed it in the chuck holding it by the larger diameter spigot. Why did I do this? Well the small spigot is too rough to hold in the chuck. So I've turned it round and the first thing I'm going to do is machine the smaller spigot so that it runs true. Here's the operation, it's obvious what I'm doing and I don't need to speak about it. After machining an accurate register, I turned it around in the chuck to drill a centre hole and machine the other end. Then I drilled a hole, one imperial size below 7 30 seconds of an inch, but I didn't drill it all the way through. I could have drilled this hole all the way through, which would have made the spigot release the flywheel onto the drill bit, but I didn't want to do that. You'll see what happens later on in the video. For the outer diameter of the flywheel I need to slow the lathe down and here I'm changing the position of the belts and just for the record this is nut link belting that I prefer rather than ordinary V belts. I use this stuff on all of my lathes and on my Land Rover to drive the vacuum pump and it seems to work very well indeed and it wears well. Here I'm facing across the front of the flywheel boss. I'm just cleaning it up really, I don't need to remove much metal at all. This part is going to be very visible when the flywheel is fitted to the engine, so I need it to look good. I'm also using a file on the edge of it, just so it's not sharp. Before turning the outer diameter of the flywheel, I fit a live centre into the hole in the middle. These clips are running at a much higher speed than they should be really, just to get through the turning operation sequences. It's quite important to take fine cuts. Gun metal is a very soft metal and it distorts easily. I often move the lathe tool in the tool post like this. That's because I'm using the logic that this part of the cutting tool is sharper because it's done less work. That it gets a better finish. But alas, not always. Now comes the good bit turning the outside edge. It's very rough and it takes a while to cut through all the shale.
Once I'd machined the outer edge of the flywheel, I turned it round in the chuck and held it by the larger part. And then I used the cutting tool to reduce the thickness of this part of the centre boss. Because this is a very old engine, I don't want a large centre boss on this flywheel. I want it to be almost level with the spokes. This is intentional and in my opinion, it gives it that 1896 look. At this stage I refitted the live centre and turned the outer edge. With the state of the crankshaft this flywheel will probably wobble about a bit but I don't want to help it along by not machining it correctly. As you can see I'm finishing off the outer part of the flywheel using some wet to dry sandpaper. This is 400 grade. In this clip I'm using a 730 seconds of an inch diameter reamer Although currently the crankshaft is a little bit bigger than 730 seconds of an inch. In the next episode I'll sort that out. Now I need to remove most of this boss on the outer part of the flywheel. Because I need a small amount of the crankshaft to stick out of this centre hole on the outside. I'm doing this in a bit of a haphazard fashion, I'm just having a play with it. It's a very boring and tedious operation turning things like this. I am not a machinist. And that is it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.